Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series in the Renewable Energy Engineering. I am Nilita Devi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are starting our biomass energy. We have already studied about the biomass energy, and in this session, we will study about different design of the biogas plants. Now, let us study about different designs of biogas plant. Means different types are KVIC floating gas holder type design, which is very very popular model. The next is the planning, research, and action division design. Then application of science and technology to rural design. Then Murgappa Charita research center design. Then dog type design from Tamil Nadu agricultural university design. Then Himachal Pradesh capsule design. Then Kacha Pakka design of Punjab agricultural. Then action of the food production research design. Club flow design, Roorkee design, Deen Bandhu design. Fiber gas dome design, Ganesh model of the biogas, Switzerland biogas plant, and mobile biogas plants. So as you see, the list is not yet stopped. There are nearly more than 50 types of different biogas plants. Now, let us study the KVIC floating biogas plant. Now here there is the diagram, and students are going to remember. If it is asked in your examination, you have to draw the diagram very well. Okay? Now, in this type of the biogas plant, the gas collected in the floating drum, which is kept on the digester. So, there is a floating uh, drum type of design. There is a center guide through which the floating gas holder moves up and down. Drum moves in the guide frame fitted on the walls of the digester. Okay, now in this floating drum, it is made of MS sheet or ferro cement or fiberglass or plastic. Now, the pressure inside the biogas plant remains constant, which is equivalent to the total weight of the drum over the projected area. The cost of the floating drum is quite high as the design of this plant is made by Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is popularly known as KBIC. Now, let us explain Pragati Biogas plant. Now, again, you have to see this design, you have to draw it if it is asked. Now, this design has been developed by United Nations Socio Economic Development and Research Program by Pune. Okay, it is situated at the Pune. In this plant, the depth of the pit is reduced so that it can be easily constructed. The design is 20% is cheaper than the KVIC system. The wall in the digester at the center is to be separate incoming slurry and outgoing slurry. Floating drum is provided to collect the gas. A guide made up from the steel pipe and iron angle is kept through which the gas holders moves up as well as down. Now, let us see the Deen Bandhu fixed dome biogas plant. Okay? It is fixed dome biogas plant so it doesn't have any floating device which can be economically constructed as there is no cost so there is no costly floating as a holder. If we uh, have to put the floating type of drum, we uh, the cost of the floating drum is little bit higher than the fixed type of drum. Now its construction and maintenance and operation are simple as well as convenient. The cost of the plant is considerably reduced. Okay, we only need to make one object. For digester as well as gas collector. We do not need to uh, design two different objects or mount two different objects. Hence the cost is very low. Now this model is very very popular. Generally in the rural areas. The digester, inlet and outlet tank are constructed as a single unit from the brick work mesonary. Now bottom of the digester is round and slurry is freely circulated and produces the gas continuously. Wall and bottom of this plant are sufficiently strong enough to take heavy load biomass. 
efficiency of this plant is high and for you number of biogas plants of green bandhu model has been constructed in the villages under government scheme for the subsidy okay now let us see the janta biogas plant in this case also it is nearly same as the green bandhu plant it is also the fixed dom biogas plant this design is based on chinese design in which there is a moving gas holder as you see in this diagram the upper part of the digester is used as a gas holder it is completely constructed underground with inlet and outlet tank by cement and brick masonry the digester is completely enclosed by concrete slab except for the gas pipeline gas pipeline is not made of concrete slab the plant is fitted with the thick liquid biomass to fix its level with the upper part is filled with the gas generated due on aerobic digestion the gas is taken out by gi pipe gasifier standard pipe line to the kitchen where it is used as a fuel when the pressure inside the digester is increased the digester slurry is pushed out to the outlet valve and remaining is the same as we have already discussed in our previous slides now there are more number of different types of biogas plants you have to study by your own because except the design the working is exactly similar now let us have the comparison of floating and a fixed gas holder type plants so let us compare uh, if we see the floating gas holder so initial cost is high it is made up of the generally iron plate and has a tendency of rusting and corrosion because iron is having the tendency maintenance is high having less life so i am first of all telling you about the floating gas holder type things okay now plant is not underground so land is occupied and cannot be used for the other purpose performance is very much affected by the temperature now pressure of the gas remains constant gas holder tank is needed and fault finding and repair is easy because of the floating type of Now, now if we consider the fact, uh, fixed gas holder type biogas plant, now what will happen in that case? So initial cost obviously low, no much problem of rusting because it is made of the brickwork, so there is no any kind of floating gas holder. Maintenance is low, life is higher. Now plant is underground and the upper land can be used for the other purposes. Yes, of course we cannot uh, use it uh, use it as a farm, but we can use that land. Now the performance is not much very affected by the temperature, and other forms of the biomass such as agro waste and municipal waste can also be used with the sub with some modifications. Now pressure of the gas increases with increase in the gas production and decreases. Uh, when the gas is gas consumption now separate gas holder is not required and fault finding and repair is little bit of uh, difficult it is not easy so here there is a comparison of fixed as well as uh, floating gas holders now how we select the biogas plant now how can how can we understand which kind of biogas plant is required for us so the selection of the biogas plant completely depend upon many factors there uh, there are as you know many models uh, as we have uh, see in our first slide so design many, many models as well as designs sizes of the biogas plants but most appropriate type of the model and capacity should be selected to that it gives satisfactory performance considering local environment availability of feed stocks operating scale and economy the model of biogas plant is selected now okay so let us check the factors of fact in the selection of biogas plants if you want to select any biogas plant because it is based on economical values and availability of raw material so let us check which kind of factors are affected so there are four basic factors name technical climate 
economical condition and geographical factors. So what are the uh, main four? Technical, climatic condition, economical and geographical. So if you see the technical factors, there are two types of biogas plants, fixed dome and floating dome biogas plant. Skilled masons are required to carry out the work, the construction of the biogas plant. It is also necessary to have skilled operator of the biogas plant who can efficiently operate the plant. Charging the slurry made into the right proportion, checking the gas pressure, breaking the scums formed on the slurry, moving the gas holder of the floating gas holder type plant and removing the water collection in the piping system are the regular tasks to be performed during the operation of the plant. So these are the technical terms. Now the operation of the plant is very much depend on climatological factors such as temperature, humidity, atmospheric condition. When temperature is rising, the gas production increases and vice versa. There are different retentions time for the different atmospheric zone. Proper type of biogas plant should be selected so that best performance is obtained. Now, if we see the economical factor, obviously you have to see the money. So, floating gas type holder plant cost 20 uh, to 30 percent is more than the fixed dome gas biogas plant. Over and over above of the maintenance of the floating type of plant is also high. Maintenance is also high. So, however, the floating gas holder type plant can be filled, the uh, restarted which is difficult in the fixed dome type plant. Now, the soil condition and water table are also very very important factor and consideration for setting up the biogas plant. If a fixed dome plant is to be constructed, the soil should not be very much hard and the RCC foundation is necessary. Now let us consider the factors affecting the selection of size of biogas plant. So first one, for the optimum size of the biogas plant, it includes size of the digester, inlet tank, outlet tank, piping system and gas distribution system. They depend upon size of biogas plant in terms of the gas construction. It can also be fixed on the biogas of available biomass. Basically, there are two criteria. On the basis of the gas consumption and on the basis of the availability of cow dung. Okay. Now, as we know, gas is used as a cooking fuel, but it is not yet used in lighting or power generation purpose in developing countries. So, hence, the size of the biogas plant decides on the basic number of persons in the family. Different types of feedstock give different rate of production. So, the size of digester can be determined by the types of biomass feed stocks. Okay, now let us see how to do the selection of the site for the biogas plant. Site selection is also very, very important. So, it should be considered near the availability of cattle, cow dung, so that no transportation of biomass is required to be done. Second, a biogas plant should be nearer to kitchen so that long gas pipelines are not needed. Plant should be in the open space and sunlight falling on it so that the temperature can be maintained. Plant should not be constructed in the shade of the trees otherwise production may decrease due to less temperature and roots of the trees may weaken the structure of a biogas plant. Water source should be nearer to the plant but away from the source of a drinking water. Okay. Now, exhausted slurry is required to be dried in the open space near the plant. Minimum 50 to 70 square meter length should be available for easy operation and maintenance of the biogas plant. So, thank you all of you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can contact me. But remember to study more about other different types of biogas plants. Okay. Thank you.